Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to create a travel poster. This is what it's going to look like. So let's get started. All right, so we're going to start off by going into elements and we're going to search for Trevi Fountain. And we're going to use this photo right here. I'm just going to make it a tad bit larger like this. And I'll just place it there for now. And I'm going to remove the background. Um, so there we go. I'm now going to search for a blue watercolor background. So I'm going to come back into elements and I'll type in here blue watercolor and press enter. And I'm going to place this one on my workspace and I'm going to rotate it and set it as my background. All right, so now I'm going to look for a yellow gradient like this, and I'm going to place it on my workspace just so that it's coming up over the back of the building. And I'm going to move that to the back behind the building. And so I'm now going to go over to elements and I'm going to place a couple of blue gradients on my workspace. And I'm just going to layer them so that we can't see that harsh line. And if you want to bring one down just so that we can see those pillars, you can do that too. I'm now going to grab some um, grunge and I'm going to rotate this grunge and place it on the top like this. Let me just get that so that it's straight like that and I'm going to put it all the way across like that. I'm going to make a copy of this and I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to flip it and place it at the bottom here. And I'm going to make that white to make it look like a kind of a torn paper um, effect. I'm now going to go to text and I'm going to place some text on my workspace. And in the heading here, I'm going to type Trevi Fountain and I'm going to bring that up here like that. And I'm going to add a shadow, a white shadow to that, just so that it pops a little bit like that. I'm now going to add some more text to my workspace. And in here, I'm going to type in all caps, Italy. I'm going to bring this down here and try and center it. And now I'm going to look for a font that is grunge, has a grunge effect. And I'm going to use this one right here. And I'm going to change the color and we're going to change it to yellow. And we're just going to make that a little bit larger like that and we're going to place it on our workspace. We're now going to add some text onto our workspace. And in here, in all caps, I'm going to type in Rome. And I'm also going to make this the same color. And this time I'm going to rotate it to 90 degrees. And now I'm going to grab it and I'm going to bring it all the way down beside Italy. Now I'm going to make Italy a little bit larger and I'm going to grab Rome and I'm just going to increase the kerning on the word. And now I'm going to go over to my shapes and I'm going to add a shape to my workspace. 
the, I'm going to make the shape transparent and I'm going to add a border. And for the border, I'm going to make it yellow to match with the rest of the yellow in the poster. And I'll just resize that so that it goes over the eye like that. And that's pretty much it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a travel poster. If you did, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about Canva, don't forget to join my YouTube channel membership. I go live every week. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye. Until next time.